Bike Dog. Yeah, it's Bike Dog. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Unbreakable Sentai <laughs> Podcast. This one, I'm prepared. This is episode number uh, seven. <laughs> it took wow. you a long time to remember a number. Well, because I had to look at the screen, but it's behind screen. me. Yeah, but I, I you was... pulled it up so that you could have that number ready. Yeah, and you still had to prepared. read this. Yeah, but no, screen. I'll pull you up to <laughs> eat your ass. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Hey everybody! This is a new week. I'm uh, I'm James. Ooh, ooh. I'm Darius. <laughs> I'm Noah. There, then there we go. That's the full squad. The unbreakable. So he, I gotta bring something up. This is important, guys. Should we have hero names as well? I, I no. was casually <laughs> thinking about that, no. right? Because like we got you know the the unbreakable Sentai's the crew, but you we're know there's like, but like the Rangers don't have that's true. Names. It's just like just Ranger Red, the Ranger color. Pink. Yeah, we're yeah. we're like there's levels to this like unfuckableness and nerdness <laughs> and we're we're at the level where we're on the cusp <laughs> i mean we're, we're kind of yeah at the cusp. i mean we're, we don't really play into it though it's just kind of like a background yeah backdrop. but we give each other superhero names we're we're off the charts darius the people i think need that's to dipping know. the toes maybe. it's true it's true you're 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 you're, you're toe dipping you're just wiggling them in the water yeah. the water of weeb <laughs> <laughs> it's the fountain of unfuckability. No, because <laughs> at that point, you know, if I if I meet somebody I care about, and I'm like, hey, how you doing, Drake? Oh yeah, I do a podcast, and you know, it's Unbreakable Sentai. He's like, okay, that's a cool name. My superhero name is Golden <laughs> Ruby Rose. And yeah, but like, you're you're gonna still show him a picture of what it looks like, and he's gonna see your outfit, <laughs> and he's gonna go like, so what? What are you? And you're just gonna be like, I'm the dude in the green suit, like. Yeah, I could say the green one, but then if I be like, yeah, my superhero name is this, he's going to be like, you're not cool, bro. Yeah, but at the same time. <laughs> he already thinks I'm not cool, but when I tell him the superhero name, he's going to be like, "Hold up, you're though. not cool, and this is bumped up to about 10 points. Two things I want to say. One, uh, Dragon Ball Z shirt. You're wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt. I think you're you're still on the cusp. I just need the fans to know that you're right <laughs> now talking about the unfuckability of anime. You're wearing a Dragon, Dragon Ball Z shirt. Dragon Ball Z is cool now, James, and you fucking know it. You know what? Hold up. I'll, I'll, I'll double down on this. You give me a second. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Oh, he's gonna show him the DBZ shirt. Your fucking your DBZ shirt. Sale versus Goku shirt. <laughs> what else? Shows, what's the material of those shirts? The uh, fucking button garbage. up, dude. If if you guys don't know, it's one of those like asbestos. One of those like <laughs> button up shirts that Guy Fieri wears them all the time. Oh, yeah. That yeah, that yeah, like yeah, material. Yeah. I don't. It's not cotton. No. I don't know what the fuck that material is. And it's a shitty DBZ shirt from like the nineties. Yeah, it's too green, bro. Oh, Super this is Saiyan awful. Goku versus oh, is Perfect Cell. Is that Goku fighting Cell? It's Goku in the fighting, background. It's Goku Cell. fighting Perfect Cell, and in the background is OG Form One Cell. Doing command yeah, yeah. or just like just being evil. He's just menacing. Yeah, I do like First Form Cell's design more than Perfect, though. I agree completely. I think he looks sick. I like the uh, the buff one. That's my least favorite. Is that the one that fights Trunks? You mean the one with the racist lips? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. No, but the th- second thing I was going to say was, I feel like that's a bullshit thing to say when you're talking about Drake, because 90% of hip-hop, everyone has a superhero name. What are you talking about? That's true. Oh, y- you're right. Has a on, stage his, name. on his birth certificate is Lil Yachty. That's a superhero name. You fuck off. Just because it's hip-hop doesn't make it not well, a superhero but that's, name. But that's, that's a stage name. Exactly, but that's thing. a cool stage name. That's so make a cool stage name. Yeah, so I would uh, a cool superhero <laughs> name. I guess would be better. Yeah, exactly. But Drake is Drake. Drake is a real name. Yeah, but like I said, ninety nine percent. You know, Lil Nas X is Lil Nas X. That's <laughs> not on his fucking <laughs> birth certificate. I, I can't do a superhero name. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to. The unfuckability is good. We'll, we'll, just we'll make do it for you. you. Okay, <laughs> way too high. Way too high. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, you seem to be. Doing pretty good on the dating scene. I mean, yeah, yeah. I got, I got a girl, but it's the fuck do you care? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I have this certain level of personal insecurity of I had to atone this, this like point of coolness. Okay, you know, and I had to stay at that point of coolness, you know, just sure. so I could feel better about myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm insecure. I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I'm not afraid to fucking say it. You know, everybody is. Yeah. So. In my in my personal life, maybe not you. Yeah, I'm not insecure. Yeah, yeah you wear. I'd, I'd wear. I'd wear this <laughs> thing outside. No, you would it. I, I'll <laughs> no, do you it. Fucking you want to go to the store later? I'll wear it. I'll you button it up. I you did wear the I've given up sweatshirt and pants <laughs> combo. Didn't you wear it to work? <laughs> no, I wore it when we got like groceries at some place. That's what yeah. it was. 
I've given up as a statement though. It's more of a statement than just like fashion. I, I would wear that. I mean, it was. I like, wouldn't wear what the fuck it was you're like wearing. Royal blue <laughs> and like bright white text <laughs> that just said, "I've given up." There's a difference between what I'm wearing and what you wear. Fuck you, James. No, there's not. <laughs> yes, there is. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Yours is worse, arguably, because it's the worst arc of Dragon Ball uh, Z. No, it's not. Fuck you. Goten's in this. Yeah, I know he's the worst the, part of He's the, not. Fuck you. You're right. He's not the That's worst not the part. That's not the worst arc. Good. Is it? The no, worst wait. Boo Saga okay, is, is not Boo the worst. Sagas. Boo Saga. I just saw Android 18, and I'm like, no. Yeah, but then Krillin's got his yeah, hair yeah. next to him. And there's mm-hmm. Goten. Yep. Yeah. I want to say Boo Saga is the worst arc. The, of the what super is. have you seen? No, no of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, dra- oh yeah. Who is the worst yeah, arc? Yeah, yeah. I can't <laughs> argue that. But that's 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 like saying I do love. Nah, it's Boo, bad. Though. <laughs> like hmm? we, I like Boo's design. Yeah, we can all respect. I love, but the, I I will jerk off Great Saiyan Man every day. <laughs> I love that part. I love the slice of lifiness and the fact that he's like. I am a stupid and don't know what humans are like. I'll go Super Saiyan and my blonde hair will throw them off the trail. Even though I'm still wearing the orange high star on me. <laughs> but that's also kind of like saying in My Hero, the gentle arc is the worst arc of My Hero. So it's not. The tournament arc is the worst arc of which, fucking My Hero. Which, which tournament arc? The first one? Yeah. Oh, what? Shit. Fuck you. The first one's great. Eh, the last part. No. If you look at the whole thing. Yeah. The, la- the only part that matters is when they're fighting on the stage. But... The rest of that no, the, the part when Deku it. has to like when they're uh, the I, obstacle course. Yeah, that yeah. that part was good. He has to actually figure out what's going on. Then when they had to form teams, they, Deku has to like strategize with what he has. It's all just good writing. I mean, it's still the worst arc. I think Gentle I mean, is a better arc. I mean, but the, the whole point Gentle of this is saying is like, the whole the, point. The whole point of this is I'm, I'm trying to say is like. It's still a good art because it's still just that goodness. Oh, yeah. It's, you know? it's it, absolutely. Because here's the thing. When I say it's the worst art, it's still a solid. It's a C plus. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a 76 it's, out yeah. of 100. <laughs> my, my hero's worst arc is still better than any of One Piece arcs. Yeah. You know, I'll so, agree with that 100% yeah. at me. My hero's been getting real, dude. Dude. I just new sent chapters. Him, I just bumped the mic. Sorry about that. But That's fine. Fuck him. Holy shit. That new chapter. Yo, fucking awakened I, uh, Shigaraki. That's all we gotta. What was it even that's mean? All we Who's Shigaraki? Say. Shigaraki is the hand guy. Yeah, the decay. Like awakened devil fruit awakened. Like like God awakened. Powerful. Like he get a bump. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of talk about it. So this arc starts and the heroes are attacking the villains. They're is the attacking, bunny girl. They're attacking over a hospital. Uh, and, kind yeah. of. Yeah, that shit's over. Yeah. She's probably dead. No, 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 no. She's doing okay. If she's. In the manner she's dead, or the hospital. No, oh, is she? Because I know that Endeavor was like, I, can, can I gotta cauterize your shit. He can fly. Uh, oh, fuck. A uh, bunch of heroes started dying, but yeah. So they go in and they attack the hospital and the manor, and they're just, just give me down like everything. details because I'm going to watch this in four years from now. Dicking down. Uh, wait, all the details. I said, give me light details because I'm going to okay, watch yeah. this for you. Better start so reading attacking, it. We talked about. They're attacking the manor and hospital, <laughs> and they're trying to like stop the villains. Finish it. This is the last attack that they need to do, and they're winning. They're destroying them. Yeah. And then Shigaraki wakes up, and oh, he was. They sleep. don't win. They cannot win this fight. Yeah. Like, are we talking? It's just like low class heroes like the dude that no i'm talking they're the all heroes. of the are top about, heroes are we ever. talking the dude that fucking throws a piece of wood and throw and like jumps on it no we're talking all top 10 heroes every single hero like every every single hero that they have available is attacking the villains right is now. wayne guy there yeah yeah oh shit yeah he yeah <laughs> dude it's a bad it's shit so happening to good him. <laughs> it's so good dude holy shit yeah is deco even there not yep. that we've seen. Oh, yeah. Is he yeah, in this new there. chapter? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, man. It's, it's at the level of I was talking with Noah about it. They, I think they're gonna have to leave Japan. Yeah. I'm looking at your shoulder That's right how now, and it's is, like dude. the double fist of the way it's cropped is just terrible. Yeah. The, <laughs> it's Goku's hair, and then the same in, ends and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Goku's hair again. It's, it's the after terrible. image. Yeah. <laughs> That 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 design is lower than a Chinese sweatshop. No, this is definitely Chinese sweatshop. I'm saying it was it probably was word made somewhere worse. Can it be worse? Uh, I don't know. Without it's being racist, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we can start bringing out actual like like name countries and say those sweatshops, but 
Um, but yeah, dude, the new chapter, like, I need to read it still because oh Dole was fucking. Are you trying to button it up to make it better? <laughs> Absolutely. No, I'm trying to button it up to make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. even get Kanji on it. Hell yeah, good. dude, of course <laughs> it does. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You should take. We should take a picture of him and uh, put it on Discord. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm down. If you guys remember, we'll do we'll do that after we record. And then next time we do the podcast or you come over, you need to take a. We need you need to bring your. Uh, I've given up clothes. And we'll take a picture of that. No. No. <laughs> no. We could do a contest, and I could, I could take a picture of my shirt and then your shirt, and we can figure out who's cooler. Yeah, me obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spike my hair up too. I'll go full nineties. <laughs> just get in the fucking hair, like, charging trunks. pose. <laughs> but uh i don't know we should talk about you know what's going on in the world with the with the george uh, floyd yo yeah, did you hear about the re- like the recent thing that happened with that with the cnn reporters yeah uh, the one that got arrested yeah i've seen the the, the pictures of him being arrested i've the read the article where, uh, he got released though. police and riot gear were shooting like broadcasters with the uh, rubber bullets. No, I didn't see that. Live, uh-huh. yeah. Dude, the best part about that dude uh, who got arrested for being a CNN reporter who's black mm-hmm. uh, is that one block down, a white reporter for CNN, literally a block down, a police officer came up to him and was like, "Hey, you need to like you need to go." And he's like, "I'm part of CNN. Show me where you want me to stand." And the police officer went, "Oh, just stand over there. You're fine." Wow. And like it's literally it is literally you were white, you were black. You're black, you go to jail. <laughs> Some bullshit. And like CNN was like straight up cuz he was showing his badge live. He was on camera. Yeah. What else do you need? Exactly. He's on camera. <laughs> and like the the police officer or the police officer or the mayor were like we're really sorry this happened. We released them as soon as we knew that they were like CNN officials and the CNN tweeted back, "You knew from the start." They were on air showing you right. the badge, and you still took him in. Like, n- no, don't lie. <laughs> you did it because he was black. Yeah, that's this. This is some some real, some real bullshit. You guys want to riot? You guys want to fucking riot? That, that's <laughs> burn it down. That's what I was like <laughs> trying to trying to figure out. Because last night there was a protest in Chicago, and I almost went, and uh, my uncle went, and like I know they uh they like went to the loop and like broke some windows and shit. Oh really? Yeah, and. I, I kind of wish I would have went, but at the same time, I'm, I'm supposed to be like, violence won't get you anywhere. Is you know you, things won't change if you know start right. off things start things off violently. But fuck, how many how many more of my people are supposed to die before I get violent? Exactly. Yeah. And and here's the thing, and like, because MLK was right, mm. nonviolence is the answer. But the only reason nonviolent, in my opinion, for things like this, right? The only reason nonviolence works is when they see the alternative of what violence means. What option are you going to take? Are you going to try to go the nonviolent route? Or are you going to try the violent route? And like, oh, you might want to try to appease the nonviolent part when you see that like, oh, my city's going to burn. Yeah. Like, you, you yeah, need yeah. you need to <laughs> see both sides. nonviolence only works when... The leaders have compassion yep. and empathy, and they've clearly shown through decades that they don't give a shit. Exactly. Uh, yeah, dude. As I see the video, have you have you both of you? Did seen you it? watch? Are you talking about the the the, the, yeah, the him, kneeling video? Him being I haven't yeah. watched. No, it, no, I haven't. I, I haven't seen it. I would have watched it if I had seen a link, just because I want to be like, okay, how you fucking should, you should most definitely watch it. What 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 gets me is is like the cop is kneeling on his neck, literally killing him. And the dude's filming. And at that, any point in that time, he could have pushed that cop off him. But at the same time, there's this huge fear of if I push this cop off him, I'm going to be one on the ground getting my neck nailed on. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to get shot jail. for that, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. But this, but <clears throat> we, should, we shouldn't be in a country where we are scared to help save somebody's life. Yeah. Straight up. Like we, I, th- I think it's it's fucked up. We we should have, I don't know, laws where if you're saving somebody's life, you know, you shouldn't get fucking penalized. But we we live in this fucked up country where 
if I was to do that, if I was to tackle that fucking cop while he's leaning on his neck, I'm getting my ass beat and killed. Absolutely. At the same fucking time. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. Like I, it's it's like this yin and yang in me where it's like it's it's okay, you know, we should protest peacefully, but also I want to take a break to a cop's head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was I, expecting window, but <laughs> am I fucking wrong for that? I want to I want to beat them, beat them down like they fucking beat us down. No, no. I technically what you mean is that cop's head, not a cop's head, right? I don't know at this point because at the, at this point when you when you join the force, it's a fucking club. And you oh, know absolutely. you know what the fuck you're joining. That's a, like most cops are not your fucking friend. A, it's, well, most cops are people with small dicks who want to have the power trip. Yeah, it also takes like a certain personality type. Yeah, like I don't think I could ever be a police officer. See, yeah. I here's the thing: I probably could. But I would very obviously I'd get super jaded and then I'd just go the detective route. <laughs> the PI. <laughs> exactly. Because it's like I want to help people. I want to be a good cop. But then like seeing all the scum that I would have to wade through to like get there, I'd be like, I can't do this. I'm yeah, out. You'd go straight super detective. Exactly. Hey, James, could you look this up? Don't call me James. <laughs> call me Question. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Q now. <laughs> But it was straight up, dude. Like the the rage is so real. But I, I don't understand where this country thought things was gonna go when it was built. Because when you when you when you take us, enslave us, and then let us free, and then give us nothing, how else do you think things was gonna happen without you helping us trying to get up? Hey, 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 hey! They give you a pat on the back and said, "Our bad." That's something, Darius. <laughs> That's it's, something. Exactly. Like we we when I saw the video, everybody see different things. When I saw it, I, I saw that the cop and all the other cops around were scared. There were like four cops, right? It was like four cops, yeah. Okay. I, 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 I saw they were scared because we're surrounded by black people and we're in their territory and we're just gonna try to defend ourselves. Which is a terrible mentality to have when you're supposed to be a, a police officer. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, just the way America works, black people are just made made out to be scary. Oh, absolutely. But what the? Why is that? What 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 about that? It's because you're different. Let, I mean, like let's cut but, it right to the core. But Asian people are different. We're not seeing Asian people getting killed yeah but i mean asian people are like on average in like media and stuff we always see thin scrawny short Mm -hmm. asian people but most movies is oh hey that's a big meaty imposing black man even if he's on the good side like it does like they'll get a fucking uh, terry uh, cruz yeah terry (laughs) cruz he's the nicest dude in the world he draws he built a pc to play with his son he's still a scary looking motherfucker because of the media Yeah, <laughs> like, but, but at the same time, like the media fucked us. Yeah, but, <laughs> and why, like, look, but why? Why? I, I, I know it's a, that's a dumb yeah, question. Why institutionalized I'm, I'm, I'm racism? Just, I'm, just, I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just mad that we we are like portrayed as this. Yeah, because like here's the problem with this this whole conversation, right? We all know the answer to these questions that you're asking, but we have to ask them because it's ridiculous what's happening. You know, it's like, why? Oh, because the people that are on top are racist assholes. That's why, you know, oh, what? Every villain in, like, fucking NCIS. Now, it's probably that black dude over there. You know, like, great. Yeah. Thanks, NCIS. The cop drama. Fuck you. Like. (sighs) I got to ask y'all as white people. Have y'all ever been scared of black people? Have you ever been, like, oh, that's a group of black people. I'm scared. I'm going to cross the street. Uh, Or, Or been in an elevator and a group of black people, like. I would argue once, but I was scared because my friend was an idiot, and it's that story where my friend raised a finger, pointed, and said, "Hey, look, Africa!" at uh, w- uh at the location in Disney, Africa, <laughs> in the World Showcase, but just happened to point at a group of fifteen black people, pointing at black people, saying, "Hey, look, Africa!" is a white person. I was just like, "Can you not say that?" Like, I wasn't scared, but I looked at him and I went, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Like. Did you not click that you were pointing at a group of people and said Africa? Like, 
because I wasn't scared of black people, but I was like, my friend might get punched because of what he just did. Yeah. But it wasn't like because, right? Like, I'd say the same thing if he went, hey, look, China, and it was a group of Chinese people, you know? Or like, you know, it was just his racism made me think, my friend's going to get punched, and he's going to deserve it. So like, but no, I've never been afraid of a black person. Oh, you know. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, fuck, it was like weird. <laughs> I wasn't scared of them because they were black, but... Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Yeah, I was, like, with my friend and his brother, and we were, like, playing and shit. Uh, Near my house, there's a uh, school, and behind that school, there was, like, a really, like, deep hill that you can, like, ride down on sleds and whatever. Mm -hmm. It was, like, during the summer, and we were just, like, taking our bikes and, like, riding down the hill or whatever, because go fast. (laughs) <laughs> but like i don't know these guys just like came out of nowhere and started like bullying us and then they like took our shit and that wasn't cool but i I don't think it was like a race thing it was just the situation yeah, was not it was good just not good so it was just a group of like black teenagers yeah okay yeah it wasn't fun <laughs> but yeah i don't think it was like a race thing i mean i've probably been like intimidated by like black people but like not in a way that's like because they're black like, uh, I was just listening to, like, Mark Norman's new special, and he, like, tells a joke, like, if you're walking alone at night and you see, like, a white guy, like, yeah, you, a sp- suspicious, like, white guy, like, walking towards you, like, oh, you can just walk across the street. But, like, if that guy's black, then you're like, fuck, I can't cross the street because I look like a bigot. But I'm still, like, scared of that person because it's just a su- suspicious person, period, you know? Yeah. I mean, the the way black people are just, like, I guess betrayed and just... The, me being black, I have to move a certain way. Oh, I know, absolutely. I know when I go out on jogs, like, I don't know, once a week, I, I'll have to, I'll see somebody white jogging in front of me or walking in front of me. I got, I literally go out of my way and go all the way around them as I jog, not just straight past them. And I try to make as much noise as possible because I know if she turn around and I'm jogging past her, she's going to be scared. Or if I walk, if I get on an elevator with a, a white woman, I have to try my best to make her feel comfortable. Right, mm. which like is, you're walking on eggshells, but because of who you are, exactly. But we, it, it, it seems like such a fucking losing fight, man. Because we're in these poor neighborhoods, because we were put in these poor neighborhoods, because we were kidnapped from our country, and now we, we you let us go, and you said work it out. And then, but you don't give us any, anything. You don't give us any money in our in our in our community. We have this shitty ass community, and we just gotta make do with what we can. And then, no matter what, no matter what race, a poor community is gonna have crime. Yep, and that's just how it is. Yep, and, and gangs are gonna happen because they have nobody. You know, yeah. they they need to help themselves. And because of this, we are just portrayed as so fucking scary man and because and because of that betrayal for years of that betrayal i i have to carry myself a certain way and it's fucked up and it's fucking police are so fucking scared of us and it's and, fucking it angers me man and you made a good point right there too because like we, gangs form no matter what but like mm. a black gang or like a hispanic gang is going to be looked at with like such anger and fury but like Look at how Chicago fucking idolizes goddamn Scarface, right? Like, idolizes uh, Capone. uh, Capone. And it's like, he's just a fucking mobster. What, the word mobster makes him better? Like, no? Like, fuck, fuck. But, like, everybody's like, oh, man, Al Capone, like, he was the gangster of our city. And it's like, yeah, he killed a lot of fucking people. Why are you saying that was such, like, enjoyment? He was a scumbag. Capone, he's so good. No. (laughs) No, he was a criminal. that That might be that, like italian i don't know like pride of like he did something when you know we didn't have anything i don't i don't know I'm not, I, I can't speak for italians all yeah. i did was watch sopranos <laughs> but I, I, I hey man sp- that was a history book i can speak as how i feel as a black man and i do, it's the root is the start of making things better making people more integrated with black with like with each other or is it integrating more money into the black community so we can have a better structure so we can grow up better it's because column a, column B, we I think. like we grew up 
especially in the hood. Like, I have family hood in the hood. I spent a part of my life in the hood. I go there all the time. I understand how it is. A lot of people have a day to day, like basis of life of, I need to make it today. I'm not thinking about next week, mm. and that changes you when you fucking when you live, bro. And it makes you think of things a lot differently. And police, they don't fucking get it. And they don't see it. And do we fucking even need police at this point? Straight up, dude. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I like. I kind of want to get rid of police. You know, and like when we they 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 say, oh yeah, don't loot and don't destroy shit. But if I go to the loop. Last, or if I went to the loop last night and broke those like windows on the fucking on the magnificent mile, I don't give a fuck about those people's property because they don't give a fuck about me. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, and I'm supposed to feel bad for that. I'm supposed to be like, oh yeah, don't do violence. It only makes you look bad. They literally don't care, and most of their families don't give a fuck. And it's it's a standstill, dude. And it's a it's and a like at, I, I I I want straight up. I won't. I, I wish I had the balls to do this. I want somebody to go out there and start scoping cops, cops. <laughs> every goddamn day until shit changes. And I'm supposed to feel bad for that. Like, is is am I am I supposed to feel bad because? Guarantee you, James, we're gonna see another video of somebody being killed two months from now. Oh, absolutely. But here's the, here's the thing, right? Counterpoint that like devil's advocate sort of thing. White devil's advocate? Uh, no, just devil's advocate. <laughs> uh. What if they were killing black cops? I think, I th- honestly, I think cops in general need to understand that they can't be doing this. So I, th- I would be okay. But, with, I would be okay with black cops too because when you, when you put on that shield, it's like I said, dude. It's I feel like it's a lower class of like white supremacy brotherhood. Oh yeah, like you, 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 you like are kind of working for the man. Mm. And the man being the one not letting the black communities be positive and grow. You're 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 putting a damper on our people. Mm-hmm. And it's it's kinda like you're betraying us when you put on when you're a black eye and you put on a shield. Yeah. Like But at the same time, I think what what would help the situation is if we get black people from the community be cops. Oh, absolutely. I was gonna say. Is yeah. like make sure that in the communities but right? just, but nobody wants to be a fucking cop because the relationship is so fucked up. Yeah, police need a restructuring. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. And it's Definitely. never gonna fuck happen. I will say this: I, I am happy. The dude do get charged with murder. Yeah. Oh yeah. He got charged with murder. It took him a while. Yeah. It's, it took it's longer took than it should have. Way too long. <laughs> took a riot. But but, but got it done. Am I supposed to feel happy for that now? Am I supposed to be like, okay, we got it, right? Or is call, that, call it off, guys. Is that going to make? Is that going to make other he hasn't cops? Been charged yet? And he's been charged with third degree, which is accidental murder. Oh are you, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Mm. God damn it. See, that, that's that brotherhood shit, dude. Yeah. That's that. And I think his attorney was somebody who represented another person who killed a black man and got off for it. I mean, if he's good at, he's good at. Yeah, I mean, he's making his money, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that's fucking awful. I, I I know that sounds bad, but fuck it, because I I want every cop to go outside and think maybe I shouldn't take things to the extreme with these with you know when I handle these people. But and if if motherfuckers are getting scoped every day, that's gonna well, make them think. N- no, because here's the here's the thing: it's not gonna make them think. It's gonna it's gonna increase what they already think, which is I can't trust the black man on the street. I need to get him before he gets me. And that's the problem, because if like, especially right now, right? If somebody just started popping cops, they would think, "No, yeah, keep killing the black people." Because look what's happening: cops are just going down. We need to protect ourselves. Kill the kill. So the what's blacks. the consequence, James? <sighs> Hundreds, thousands more of blacks or whites or cops or what? Both. <laughs> Because that, that, I feel like that's that's an arms race, you know. Like that's a that's I don't know the answer, but I feel like that isn't it. But what's what? Fuck! I'm kind of. <laughs> but at the same time, like, what's wrong with that though? No, murder's murder. 
murder's murder, but, you know, we get a murder too. Are we supposed to just not do anything about it? No, not at all. Like, but killing other people who could be innocent is, you know, it's like it's like that whole eye for an eye thing. But yeah. well, And I, saying I, no I, cop I, is innocent <clears throat> is like, well, that's like saying no black is innocent. You know, like, that's not true. But at the same time, <laughs> when you... When you're a cop, you, you you're joining this this fucking joining fraternity. Yeah, it's a like, fucking college yeah. frat boy. Like, yeah, not hey. all cops are the same, but there's a through line through each cop. Exactly. It's it's, it's a bad it's a bad fucking situation. It, it is a bad situation. It's like it's fucked up. I feel like a lot of white people don't want to tackle the issue. That's true. Because like, for example, I'm the only black person in my job. And for all week, no one, I didn't hear anybody talk about this shit. But I'm hearing about COVID every goddamn day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because it's affecting them too. But they don't want to talk about the shit that's not affecting them. But it's our country. I I would like to mention, because I work with Darius, I specifically did not talk to you about this because A, I was doing a bunch of research on it, and B, I wanted to talk about it with you here. Like, I wanted to get your raw example now, yeah. you know? So, like, it wasn't that I didn't want to talk about it. It's that I wanted to make sure we had the proper space to talk about did it. Did anybody talk to you about it? No, of course not. So you, I like, think Kevin and right? I actually talked about it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We no, we definitely talked about it because we looked at each other and we're like, "This is some fucking." And he was like watching it go down, like at work, being like, "This is not, <laughs> like, like this is what has to happen." But like, you know, like with the riots and whatever, he's yeah. like, "This is this is yeah. good." Like we this need to we need to send eventual. a message. Like this was coming. Exactly. Like this isn't something that we didn't foresee. Yeah. This was inevitable. This shit's Thanos. <laughs> There's that MLK quote going around: "The riots, the voice of the unheard." Yep. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, you're goddamn right. It's fucked up, dude. I don't, I literally I don't know what I'm going to do. I I kind of want to get out there though. Yeah. I want to get out there and just like wreck some shit and show them. But it am I, I, I I've been told <laughs> be peaceful. Yeah. I've been told that you know that's the way to that's the way to go about things. But I'm kind of on my Malcolm X shit right now. Well, now, now if we're we're talking about this sort of thing, right? Like, I was always told in school that like, like I was only taught about Michael, like Michael, Jesus Christ, Martin Luther King Jr. You know? Yeah. They like glazed over X. X. Why is that? Because he was radical. He because was, he, he was, because he was necessary. Yeah. So like that that was also like I legitimately like, yeah. MLK was amazing and like he's great. He needed the foil that was Malcolm X because that's the only way people were going to listen to MLK. Like it, it, it's mm-hmm. uh, that's what I feel. And it's just like the Native Americans in our history books. Why do we only hear about Martin Luther King Jr.? Well, it's because if we make sure that everybody wants to do something peaceful, they're not going to, you know. Yeah. Make exactly like you know like it's you were all part about. of the fucking master plan. Absolutely, it's all part of the master plan, and I feel it. I feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, I can see it. I, I kind of, I want to like. God, dude, his, his just real quick history books fucking say that Native Americans fucking willingly left America. Now, <laughs> yeah, dude, the Trail of Tears is just gone. That didn't happen anymore. Fuck you. Know. Fuck you. I kind of want to just carve out the own little section for us, like <laughs> fucking Doom style. Make my own, make our own country, man. Because say what you will about Africa, Africans look at African Americans different. Like they 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 don't see them as part of as them. And like us, if we just pick up and go to Africa, we things won't won't be good, you know? Right and. We built this fucking country. Why should we pick up and go to Africa? Yeah. We literally built this country. 200 years of free labor works very well for building a country. Straight up. And I think we should. Now I think about it. Should we carve out this fucking state? Should we claim a state as ours? What state do you claim? I don't fucking... I don't know, dude. You can take Michigan. I'll give it to you. I don't, I don't <laughs> want Michigan. Man, fuck you. We got a lot of, you know... Let's Michigan's get that good beautiful. one. Let's get Cali. <laughs> get Cali. Yeah. I'm sure people would not be okay with that, but 
we'll see what happens, dude. A lot of my family is super upset. I was I was talking to them and arguing with them about how to go about things. One of my cousins is like, he's like, we need to start cracking heads right now. And I'm like, that won't help. You know, that won't be good. And another one, one of my cousins is like, I agree. We just need a plan. So we, we're fucking all confused. And, like, the worst part is that we don't fucking have a leader. Yeah. Like, we, our leaders were taken out, literally, ex-king. Yeah. And I love Obama, but I feel like Obama ain't stepping up. I feel like he, 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 he put his passive. work in, and he's like, I'm done. Yeah. He's too passive. Yeah. I don't think he could fit what everybody's doing right now. Mm-hmm. He couldn't be the face for this, I don't no. think. No. I, here's the Here's the thing, though, right? He could be the face of it. But we need a face of we. He could be the MLK, but we would need an X, right? We need somebody to yeah. lead the riots, and then somebody else can come in and lead peace. Cause you 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 need that. I I I feel like you need that. You know, like I don't know. We 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 need a leader, but our leaders get taken out. <laughs> that's that's the bad part. So nobody wants to fucking step up and. And, and become that but we'll see man we'll see what happens in the next, next couple of weeks and months man yeah Darius remember what when the when the war breaks out I'm cool <laughs> I need you I need you to. I need you we've talked about this when the race war happens and you win cause you will you need to let him know that I was cool <laughs> we'll see how the rules work out with that James we'll see if, <laughs> we'll see if, my, if my people be like you get only one white pass you know, I got pick. I got, I got pick. Ain't me, dude. I'm sorry. Well, she she'll be give like she's a gimme because you're already <laughs> in a relationship. You know, that's true. So we'll I'll, we'll we'll see when the race war kicks off. We'll see where things where things play out. Just, you know, I I you know I know I'm I'm gonna lose. So I'm 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 on your side. I, mean, I want this shit to <laughs> this shit might not might not get better until it gets worse. It's gonna get worse, and yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah. I need to like this is the start. Yeah. It's not gonna it's not gonna go until fucking this is happening in every state, dude. Fuck the police. Yeah. That's the part yeah. about this is that this is gonna be a chapter in history books. Yep. Yeah, right there next to COVID. <laughs> Page seventy eight. Uh, and then of course of course, of course Trump ain't doing shit. No. Of course it, uh, Dude, he's too he's called fucking like writers thugs yeah. on fucking Twitter. Yeah. Fucking White House has posts that are glorifying virus violence Violence. that have been blocked by twitter yep it's fucking insane fuck trump yeah i said you think he'll get reelected yes this year is shit for him he is he's he's eating it right now i don't think he can like (laughs) with everything that happened this year i'd be like i can see it happening but uh like if he wins again that's very eye-opening for the people in this country, uh, yeah, I, I, like people, I don't think I don't think Biden is going about the, this the right way to beat him. Honestly. Does he have to do much besides just not talk to beat Trump at this point? That's the thing, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how white Democrats feel about it. As a, I know a lot of black Democrats not aren't happy with him. James, do you consider yourself a white Democrat? Yeah. How do you feel about Biden? I don't follow politics. Mm. <laughs> no, do you consider yourself a white Democrat? I guess so. I'm How'd probably more left leaning than right. How do you feel? I don't know much about Joe Biden. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Sleepy Joe. I, 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 in my personal opinion, I think Charles got it in the bag. I think he's gonna. He put those. He put his name on the check. He did. People are gonna see that. Biden is, uh, I don't know. Fucking up Nothing's hardcore. gotten better. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and every place that opens back up has been closed like the next week because yeah. they're like, we saw a spike. Who could have foreseen this? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're opening up again right now. Yeah, we are. We get that re up, baby. It's going to go bad. <laughs> I need a haircut, bro, it's but I ain't going. <laughs> Dude, I'm, same here. I'm not I'm not going to get a haircut or going like out yeah. to places at least for a month or two. Mm-hmm. You know, let, let those... Let those people do the fucking testing first, 
you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know the canary in the coal mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, let them go out. <laughs> see, see if they dr- see if they drop. You know, yeah. <laughs> see if that canary comes back. <laughs> so, but also people are hopefully somewhat smarter, and you know, won't be doing dumb shit. Yeah, and, you know, being super close to each other. But yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't don't look at me. I'm I'm testing some things right now. <laughs> what could you be testing? This. But yeah, dude, I'm I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm upset. I might go protest. I printed some signs, some Black Lives Matter signs yesterday, just in case I gotta go out there and fucking try some shit. And dude, uh, if I see a cop doing anything to a black person or per- pe- person in general, because at this point it's not cops. Versus black people, I feel it's cops versus everybody. Yeah, I'm. It's cops versus. I'm gonna. Thought. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. gonna like put it's my hands on that cop. Racists is what it is. I'm gonna put my hands on that cop, and it's probably gonna be the stupidest thing I ever did because I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna get shit beaten at me. And you guys might not see me for a long time, but I think that's the right price to pay. I can't. I can't let anybody. I can't just sit there and let somebody get hurt, dude. Yeah. No. You're too much of a hero. Like, You're too up. much of an Avdol. Yeah, I got too much Avdol in me. But that, that's such a scary thought, and nobody wants to do that. Just like that guy who sat there and recorded that man dying. I'm go- I'm go- he's going to record instead of pushing that cop off him because it's so fucking scary, man. Because it's the only thing I can do is this. Yeah. So I, anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, I think what legitimately is going to be a lot of money, but one thing that'll go a long way towards this shit is every single cop gets a camera. If your camera gets deactivated during whatever you're doing, you lost the case. Whatever you were doing Dude, is no they, longer worth they it. They have body cameras. Oh, yeah. They're, but but if you put that stipulation of if that body camera does not, A, capture it, or B, for some reason, turns off... It doesn't matter who you. It doesn't matter what you were doing. It doesn't matter if that person murdered a person. They get off. Yeah, but they they're not releasing the footage. They're of course re- not. Of course, fucking. It's not. a open investigation, which just means we're trying to we're holding this fo- footage to try to get our get them out of this. Yep. But it's and, like, oh, congrats, yeah. he has footage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, bro, it's over. Just let them go to jail. I know you. I know you guys want to be this fucking brotherhood while we out in the streets together. Just they fucked up, dude. Yeah, they fucked up. Let them go to jail. Let them get their ass beat in jail. You know, but we'll see what happens, dude. I'm glad he got charged with murder, mm. even though it's not, even though it's baby murder. Yeah, not actual baby. Not until he murder, gets convicted, can we say that's a win, though? Dude, if he if he gets if this is Rodney King again, and he gets off, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad, bro. Yeah. I'm going out for sure. Like, it's gonna be fucked up. So we'll we'll see what the fuck happens, man. I I feel sorry for for George, who just like fucking told them he couldn't breathe, and they just did not give a fuck. Straight up, dude. Oh, and we're, we're we've been focusing. I don't want to like touch on it too much because this has been a fucking this has been a time. But how about the the uh, paramedic girl? <laughs> With Mary, Mary, Mary. The the girl who got shot in her apartment because the fucking oh yeah yeah when we they just went about... ran up in there yep yeah and they didn't identify themselves yeah and then uh, her boyfriend shot back or something yep he got uh, he got, the charges got dropped though I believe yep but still which means they that. were in the wrong which yeah. means they, which, they, they they did you hear about this maybe they fucking kicked open the door because they were there for a drugs bust at the wrong place and not only at the wrong place but earlier that day the dude got caught. So they weren't, okay. the operation should have been called off. Walked in, dude thought that he was just getting robbed because a group of people with guns came in. Yeah. He fired a shot, shootout happened, and they fucking killed his girlfriend. Jesus. Dead. Came up in her place, bro. Fucking A. Where, and then my question is with, with all this shit, where's the FBI? Shouldn't the FBI be investigating, taking over this case? Being like, let's, the police station you don't have control over this yeah because the fbi is over the fucking police because it's like we're here to investigate you yeah yeah nah dude they're too busy trying to find aliens x files bro come on yeah that's what the fbi is for investigating fucking mcdonald uh, mcdonald's uh, monopoly schemes yeah it's more important (laughs) 
<laughs> That's the state of the country in 2020. Yeah, it's fucking it's terrible. So HBO Max launched this week. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Did that actually come out this week? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna get it eventually, but I haven't got it yet. So is it different from now? It is now, pretty much. They it rolled oh, okay. over. Okay, then I. Oh, then it. you have it. But Go is different. Go. Yeah, Go is attached oh, go. to your yeah. actual television provider. Yeah. yeah. But HBO Now is just rolled into HBO it's Max. Max. Okay, yeah. cool. I thought there was gonna be Go Now and Max. And I'm like, what the? F- why? Money. <laughs> I I will say this. So I guess this is an, another topic. I was talking, thinking about. Um, I'm very interested in HBO Max, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the new one. Because I love the DC like animated stuff. Yeah, a lot. I love Young Justice. Yeah, Young, Young Justice, Justice is so good. So I haven't seen the new good. season though. I haven't seen either. Oh, we should watch it. We this what this what I was hoping for. I was holding it. It got released like last year. Yeah, it was on DC's streaming yeah. service. It was on DC stream service, yeah. and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna wait till all episodes come out, then do it. Okay. And then I heard about get the H- two weeks yeah. free, yeah. and then just slam it. And then yeah. I heard HBO Max was coming, and HBO Max is owned by uh, Warner Brothers. Okay. And they own DC, so all the DC so stuff they, is on HBO Max. Did they Max. actually merge that? Fucking kind of, and that's what pissed <laughs> okay. me off. Yeah. <laughs> that's what pissed so me off. So some, but not all. Yeah, because so like on HBO Max, you get all the DC, so you get. Batman v Superman and Justice League and like all the DC animated movies, <laughs> but they don't have the Young uh, Justice. Oh, because they don't all, all Harley Quinn is on the DC. That's actually a good show. I want to watch that too. I've seen like three episodes or so, and it's been pretty solid. Yeah, I want to watch that too. But I was also hoping it'd get rolled over to HBO Max. HBO Max has some stuff off the DC streaming service. But not okay. all, not the ones that matter. Like Doom not Patrol. The shit. Doom Patrol is supposed to be good. Yeah, that's on HBO Max. Then it's also on the on the DC streaming service, which is this is so fucking dumb. It's like Warner Brothers get your shit together, like put everything on there. But they want to make their money from the fucking DC stream. I think it's called DC Universe. Yeah, they want to make their money from DC Universe and also make their money from D- HBO Max. And they're hoping yeah. people are gonna double dip. Yeah, but no. I'm not gonna do, <laughs> yeah, no. do what Disney did. Everything that they own goes yeah, to one. Exactly. Yo- I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because isn't all the Fox stuff on there too? Yeah, Fox yeah. Simpsons got added recently or whatever. Because they I will, fixed them too. I would pay yeah. my, what I think it's like fifteen dollars for I, HBO. Yeah, I would pay the fifteen dollars for HBO if I get the DC shit and all the HBO shit. Yeah, because they have a decent amount of shit. They yeah, own, they own yeah, a the lot HBO of original shows are really good. Yeah, and uh, Sopranos is right. Surprise, yeah. 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 From a while ago, obviously, but yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Don't don't let me get on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> just wait for get... the book. That's, dude. That book he's been writing that book for so long. Apparently COVID like made him stay inside. Yeah. He, he said he's like, I'm really writing now. You know, I got no <laughs> choice. But no, still no word on that shit. Even though he's been writing a book over four years and yep. COVID made you stay inside. For the last two months, that book should be done because that book should have been almost done four years ago. <laughs> so we'll see when the fuck that happens. I don't know if the show fucked his pace up or what. But I am angry at HBO because I want that Young Justice because I love Young Justice. Mm. And the Harley Quinn show, every, I see like little clips on YouTube. And every clip I see is fucking good. Yeah. And I, I respect, I like Harley Quinn as a character. So Is hope, that the animated? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But the sad part, sad part. Fucking, they don't have a Batman animated series. Oof. And it's like, why on any you? streaming service or HBO? No, I, uh, no HBO. It so, is on Disney or DC I, Universe. I think it's on DC Universe. Oh, yeah, well, along, that blew along, my idea right out the window. I figured maybe somebody else actually owned the rights a little bit, like they had oh, joint sure. ownership, because maybe they owned it with Cartoon Network or something, kind of like Teen Titans, and that would force it to not be able to go on there, right? Yeah, that's true. Along with uh the Bruce Tim Justice League, that's on the DC Universe, but not on HBO. I don't think I've ever watched that, bro. 
James, have you seen the Bruce Timm Justice League? Of course not. Look at me. Oh, you haven't seen that's, the Justice no. League? That's the one with like the animation style uh, with the yeah, with Green the, Lantern yeah. style. With oh, the black, oh green black Green Lantern. Lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was, I, for some reason, I thought you meant Tim Drake. The, the 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 like like the Batman character Tim Drake Justice League and I was like what the fuck no yeah, I said no. Bruce Tim Bruce Tim the yeah. Doctor, the yeah yeah artist, the, the, yeah 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 that shit's amazing dude yeah, it's, I mean, it's I've seen good. clips and I've probably seen like an episode or two but I've never dude fucking top tier it. that yeah. that set my love for Martian Manhunter that show fucking did him good but yeah that's one of the, like the best superhero shows ever made but that's not on the HBO Max either I think that was also one that was on Cartoon Network though right yeah I think they might have co ownership of it. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Or, or they could just be greedy, James. And what? Cartoon Network is Time Warner? Mm. Right? Because they... If, that the Boomerang, Time Warner is HBO. Exactly. Man. Then, yeah, there's no excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't I don't know what the fuck HBO's doing. Or, like, why they think I'm going to pay for DC Universe. Because I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to just wait. Because, I, in, in my mind, I was like... No one cares about DC Universe enough for it to secede. Yeah, it is on board. Yeah, like, it is. Who, yeah, who, yeah. who, who? I don't know anybody who has DC Universe. Do you guys? <laughs> no, no. Like, I know everybody has. I know people that has Netflix and fucking Disney Plus. So I'm like, it's gonna fail eventually. And it's gonna have to get moved to HBO Go. I mean HBO Max. Max. And that's why I, since they announced HBO Max, I was excited because I was like, they're gonna move it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they haven't done it yet. Yeah, no eat shit. But I'm going to fucking hold out. And I was one of those people, James. Noah, James, mm-hmm. I was one of those people. When Young Justice was on Netflix, and they tweeted out, watch Young Justice on Netflix to get a season three, I fucking watched it. <laughs> I, 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 to the point, I love Young Justice so much, I left it playing and then turned the TV on to like a game or something just to let it play. That's how much I want it's Young Justice. It's a good Justice fucking show. Three. It's a fucking amazing show. DC kills animated series. Yeah. Okay. It's insane. I gotta ask, because I, I, I don't know much about Young Justice, except I know that Young... Uh, what's his face? Soups? No. Uh, Aquaman. Young Aquaman yeah. in that Aquaman, show? Yeah. yeah. Dope as fuck. That yeah. design's yeah, yeah. stellar. He's super good. <laughs> That's the only thing I know about the show, is that that design is fucking... Mwah. But is it better than Teen Titans? Yes. I gotta watch it, though. Better yes. than That's Teen all I needed. Titans. I think it's different enough. I mean, like old, yeah, like the yeah. good Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I think it's much better. It's better than Teen Titans. I'm in. That show's really, really fucking good. But uh, yeah, so DC Universe, fuck you, HBO Max. If you want my money, you should uh do better things. Like uh, me and you were talking, they're Warner Brothers, so they own all the Harry Potter shit. Yep. But they don't have that many original shows, and they don't have an original Harry Potter show, which I think is kind of stupid yeah make an original harry potter show like like we were saying <laughs> like you said you said ron and harry become cops and yep. it'd be so book. easy yeah. exactly so fucking the universe easy. is so big <laughs> and get like get the actors man get ron and harry yeah. you're not doing shit and if harry if i mean harry's got a dude, harry's got a fucking comedy show out with willem dafoe it's the fucking weirdest <laughs> thing ever i saw an ad for it on roku and i was like what the i fuck? know he was on a uh, unbreakable kimmy schmidt but he's doing like a lot of like small screen stuff he's not doing any like yeah yeah He's not like a huge, big movie. I think star. he's just enjoying the art form. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you got those Harry Potter royalties, you don't have to worry about shit. Yep. So. And I mean, shit. Like the what? What did he? What was that movie? Swiss Army Man. Yeah. Where he's <laughs> just a corpse the whole time. <laughs> I, I I would love to see Harry and Ron come back again yeah, if if it's a good script. But it's yeah. HBO, so of course it would be a good script. But we'll, oh, oh, have you seen Watchmen? Not yet. You got to. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna watch so it. Good. Trisha just texted me because I'm an idiot. It's uh, not Willem Dafoe. It's Steve Buscemi, which is even better. Yeah, where he's God or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trisha. <laughs> but yeah, HBO needs to like get their shit together because Disney Plus launched with Ma- Mar- uh, Manhunter or not Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Mm. And apparently, that's good. I just haven't watched it yet. Don't have enough stake in Star Wars. To yeah. Seek out watching it i haven't watched a good piece of star wars media so like in the last 10 years so yeah are you telling me you didn't like star wars 9 james yeah and rogue one what what was it return to skywalker uh the fuck was it i don't even remember the name last jedi the the newest Uh, one the newest yeah he's trying to work his way to it because it's the last jedi and then it's uh return of the sith and then it's uh (laughs) it's not return of the sith (laughs) the force awakens is the first one then it was the last jedi yeah then it was Rise of the Skywalker. Rise of the yeah, Skywalker. Got it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's the worst one, dude. I've, 
I don't think I've watched any of them. Yeah, you're still watching. Uh, how yeah, how deep are you with your roommate? And I've seen the fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. Did, that's it. Did, did I good. tell you about where I had to break my grandma's heart with that movie? Oh, well, you didn't tell her it was bad? Yeah. What? Because yeah, my grandma was like, she got me into Star Wars. Is she so big she's into huge. it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, big. Yeah. She like saw the original and everything. Sick. And she was like, hey, dude, you seen that new Star Wars movie? It was so good. I was like, no. No, grandma. I didn't. I like you it. just let her have it. Man. Yeah, you just let her have it. <laughs> yeah, dude, you should have been like, yeah, it was really good, and then walked out. You had to ruin it. No, I couldn't lie to her. She liked it for some fucking reason. I think it was just like I'm old and like Did special you con- effects are good, so I'm just amazed by that. I think that was more of it. Did you convince her to not like it, or did she walk <laughs> away still liking it? No, she she walked away still liking it. Okay, and good for her. Good. I'm like, but but grand. Do you, do you, is, can I spoil it? Can I say stuff? I don't or, give a shit. I'm like, General Pal- Palpatine should not be back. It's when, dumb. When the line is literally, somehow, Emperor Palpatine has returned. You wrote a bad story. <laughs> <laughs> literally, they're in a big pile. He looks around and he looks sad saying it. And that's word for word. Somehow. Really? Palpatine has returned. That's on the script. That's on the script. <laughs> so like they didn't even want to talk about how I really want to go back and watch the first J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie because I think J.J. J. J. Abrams is a hack I don't think he's well, that good what you don't you don't you don't like that Chris Hemsworth was a the world's greatest Starfleet pilot for 22 seconds because we counted <laughs> <laughs> like all of J.J. Abrams work I liked Lost mm-hmm and he was like a person that did loss, but loss ended terribly because it went on for eight more seasons than it should have. Yeah, and they <laughs> it, it, they did not. It's it was one of those things where you write a story and you add so much mystery that is so interesting, but you have no end game. Kind of like One Piece. Yeah. So it, that was bad. And then he made Star Trek. I like Star Trek. I, I remember liking it. Yeah. I think it was decent. And then he made Super 8, which was fucking terrible. I hated it. Is that, that the movie. horror movie? No, Super 8 was like a different. It was like a, it was like kind of like E.T. Okay. It was like an E.T. remake. Right. Oh, was right. Uh, no, I remember it. Cloverfield was the horror movie. I never saw Cloverfield. No, I was thinking about uh, Motel 8 or whatever movie. or something. Uh, uh, you did Cloverfield? Like a, huh? J.J. Abrams to Cloverfield? Yeah. That was okay. I never saw it, but I was, I was never really interested in it. Uh, I respect the found footage style because that that movie brought it back after the Blair Witch and you can respect that yeah. like even if you don't like the movie you can I respect think Chronicle that. did it better I hate Chronicle really I fucking hate Chronicle I don't it's think it's a great movie but I, the I found did, footage I was just, and shots in it some oh, of them are really good oh for sure yeah. but I just hated like most of the characters because Michael B goes down for no reason it's because he's black because really he's black <laughs> <laughs> he literally gets struck by lightning and it's just like Really? That's that's that's. Did how? you not know? I never seen. Chronicle. Yeah. So the 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 camera kid who's like the 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 douchey Found kid. Guy? Yeah. Okay. He's like he's like the insecure. Like now I have powers, but I can be cool. His dad punches him or something, or he screams mm-hmm. at him because he didn't get his mom's medicine, which is fair. Um, so he goes up and he flies because they all learned how to fly, and he's like crying up there, and his residual power is like causing like the lightning the, storm. the lightning storm. Yeah, he's basically. also the strongest of all of them. Exactly, because he's a bit of a dick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and he has no morals um, yeah. but he's flying up there crying and Michael B. Jordan comes up and he's like hey dude come down talk to me like we're friends now you can talk to me and he's like just go away I don't want to meet with anybody and then Michael B. Jordan pushes it and he's like just go away and the fucking lightning hits him and it, it wasn't on purpose but Michael B. Jordan dies and then they have a sad funeral scene wow. and where he's like oh fuck my power killed him I'm a piece of shit and like it kind of and then continues, he continues the spiral. To be a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> then, then it's Michael. great. The, the best part about that is he's recording at the funeral, like to get over it, kind of. And the other dude with powers just stares at him with the camera up, and like he can tell that he accidentally killed him. He just knows, and he's just like, "God, this is yeah." You. The final fight's pretty cool, but I kind of wished mm-hmm. it went full Akira. Sure. But yeah, uh, so J.J. Abrams. <laughs> uh, yeah, Star Wars was okay. And then he made the first Star Wars, Force Awakens, was okay. And then he made this, and it's not very oh, good. Uh, are we going to watch the uh, Snyder Cut? 
Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I don't understand why people want it so bad. How? How? Because it's better. How much better could it possibly be? I don't know. Maybe he better. says something better than somehow <laughs> Palpatine has. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to ask you this question. Yeah. If I serve you, serve you a bowl of trash, and mm-hmm. I put a cherry on top, I say this is the Snyder Cup. Or is it gonna be that much better? I don't know. The first bite will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I pick that cherry off the top. <laughs> That's what the Snyder Cut is gonna be—a cherry on top. That's all it's gonna be. It's still gonna be trash. It's a polished turd. Dude. <laughs> Snyder, Zack Snyder, he, he made three hundred. That was, that was good. You still haven't watched Watchmen, have you? I've seen the movie. Okay, and watch somebody Man, else I know has. Watchmen them. was you? good. I've seen it. Okay, Watchmen was good, but like, I I just don't think he is good for a traditional story of uh, superheroes. Watchmen is not a traditional superhero movie. True. Sure. You know, and he, the Man of Steel was just a little bit. I still don't know why they made him do Man of Steel and not pick up, like, give him a Batman. You know what I mean? Like, Batman would have fit had, to him better than the last yeah. Superman would Because, have. first of all, the last Punisher, superhero, Jesus. the last Superman movie was bad. Yep. And every Superman That was the bad. peak of uh, Nolan North. Mm-hmm. Batman. So no one could, no one could do a Batman movie. But you know, that's true. I wouldn't soon. want to follow in that footstep. You know, so they were like Superman. He had the last movie was bad. It's been a while. Take a shot at it. And Man it still was okay. It had the tone was kind of weird. Is that the dumb one where the shot is the bullet hitting his eye and then, or is that that's Superman, Superman Returns? Returns. Got yeah, it. Cool. That's the bad one. That's the bad one. I was so excited. You haven't excited shown to Darius the thing I want to show him, right? No. Okay. I made sure. Do to you keep want to do it live? Oh, maybe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, at some point, you, you'll have to show him on your phone because right. I don't want this to blow it out. Sick, dude. Yeah, but yeah, Zack Snyder. I forgot about that. He then he made Batman v Superman, which was one of the worst superhero movies of all time. And then. I hope you know that every time I hear you say that one thing that you say, it makes me want to punch you in the throat every what? time. It's a historic event. I just want to punch you it in is the a throat. Historic event. It's not. It is. It isn't. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the Snyder Cut is going to be Bring trash. that throat over and here, you know, Darius. These motherfuckers got the nerve to say it's not coming out to 2021. <laughs> Damn. It's probably fucking three scenes of like dialogue that's four minutes long in total. Well, hold up. Is it coming to theaters? No, um, no it's coming to HBO. HBO oh, Max. then fuck you! Yeah, they well, didn't I do think, reshoots. I think they're did actually, they? yeah, I think they're actually doing like it's reshoots. not reshoots. Are, is it no, not? it's just a Snyder cut because he had to leave early during production because uh, something terrible happened. I think like his daughter committed suicide or something. Okay, that's a pretty good reason to leave. Yeah. But so like uh, the dude who made Avengers, Ross, I think, isn't it? Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon. I'm bad with names. You're good. Uh, You're close. Yeah, he, I'll give it to you. He came in to try to save that trash, and he couldn't save it. Cause it was pure trash, so everybody's like, "But there is a Snyder cut out there." He, you know, he made most of it, and it's like, no one cares, and it's gonna be trash. <laughs> Why do people like this fucking terrible DC universe? I don't know. Wait, Watch is it the Snyder cut of Watching Justice Burning League? Billions, right? fun. Okay, Justice League. I haven't even seen Justice League. Well, Snyder also directed the CGI Owl movie. Guardians, Guardians of the Hole. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Fuck off. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. I bet it like, is. I'm a bitch for owls. Snyder, but like, Snyder's a good director. It's actually really good. I just don't think he's a good traditional superhero director. When it That's comes fair. Because it, like, there's a certain style you need when you make these like mm. love, beloved characters into a movie. So, so it's, it's like a tight road. You got to like walk a really, really tight line. Yeah. But, all right, well, what about we, we you guys? I've been talking a lot. I don't know. I, I like hearing you talk there. He's got a good voice. Yeah. Keep keep up the good work. <laughs> uh, I just had a bunch of bullshit uh, real quick. Bug Fables came out. I've been playing it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Did it's, you get them off yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. You get them, like, right away. They give you the full team. Does he have ice magic? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's kind of cool because he's uh spoiler alert for Bug Fables, even though you find out in the first, like, 20 minutes. Uh, he's been asleep for, like the last like 80 plus years and he wakes up and they're like, yeah, here's queen, uh, aunt queen number two. And he's like, number, number two, the first one was still alive when I went to sleep. What the fuck? (laughs) And they're like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And when you get close to these artifacts, um, he starts talking in like ancient bug speak 
and he gets like super fucked up because like magicians are like super rare. Like there are ten active like people who are mages. Oh, period. Right now. Oh wow. Um, yeah, so he's one of them. like exactly. So he's he's they're like what the fuck's going on? And he's like I have no idea. I I was, uh, I was asleep apparently. I don't know how. <laughs> like, <laughs> but now I'm I'm fine. Let's uh, let's figure some shit out. It's like okay. Um. I've got my nit- nitpicks with it. Like, there are some things that I'm just kind of like, meh, it's not that good. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, let me get, let me beat it before I... How's your I thoughts know. on um, uh, Paper Mario Origami thingy? It looks like dog shit. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Miyamoto ruined Paper Mario forever. So. I mean, I figured maybe this one might be a, might look a little better. It So, I, it looks interesting. It kind of looks like it still has the sticker mechanic of Sticker Star and, like, kind of the weird stuff that Color Splash had. I wish they would just give us buddies, like, the first two that everyone loves. Um, but they don't want to because Miyamoto's an asshole. Shout out to Miyamoto. You are an asshole. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like even even when people praise him, like they're his dev team, they always praise him in like roundabout negative ways. Like my favorite one was I think I don't remember what game it was, but a person was like, Miyamoto's kind of like a like like a parent when you're like like he'll he'll come up to you and he's like, Oh yeah, you set this, you know, you set the table really well and but you should do this and he'll like take the fucking plate and put it upside down and like kind of mess with it and you're like, Okay, cool and then you'll turn around and you realize that he went to each person individually and like messed with how their shit was to be like, do this instead. And it's just kinda like looking around and being like, Oh, oh, he changed everything. Okay. That's where we're at now. And that's what he did with Paper Mario. He was like, Uh, you can't make any more buddies. Everyone has to be generic. And they went, why? And he went, Miyamoto. And then he walked out, put on his sunglasses, and fucking freewheeled out of there. The way you're saying it kind of sounds like he's not a genius. He just comes up with wacky ways to think of things. Oh, you mean like... it it works out. You mean like Star Fox Zero? Yeah. (laughs) Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and it it hasn't worked out in the last ten years, so... He just he just has a different approach to things, and some you know sometimes they work out very well. Yeah, and, and I mean he's a genius, but genius fades. I mean, and, yeah, that, 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 he was a genius know? in the fucking you know eighties and nineties. Yeah, so. and like it's just kind of like now you're just old. More companies need to do what Capcom does and listen to their fans. Like, because Capcom is doing Mint with listening to their fans. But how long is it going to get there? Exactly. We have to go yeah. low. Exactly. We have to I go mean, low. We still have to get a good MVC. I don't even need it with what they've given me, dog. I mean, <laughs> I want it, it's in, but I don't need it's it. It's cooking. I guarantee you. Yeah. They're, it's they got to be. They, they have to restore bad they their, fucked up Infinity. They Jesus have to Christ. restore if, their honor. If they make a Dragon's Dogma 2, they've got, I will buy their next four Resident Evil 6s. Like that's how much good faith they have from me right now. I wouldn't be <laughs> like, surprised <laughs> if if uh, Dr- uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters isn't even allowed in the Capcom building. They're, they're probably just like get that get that shit off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Because it's like it's pretty much uh, better. It's pretty much Mar- Marvel's Capcom. Yeah, um, but it's just, just like, better Marvel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It blew them out six ways on Sunday. They, they took the formula. Like it's pretty much just Marvel vs. Capcom, but you know, yeah. it's DVZ. Like it even has the Marvel vs. Capcom three like X Factor, like All the, the supercharge. Yeah, yeah. It has it. It's yeah. right there. That's true. And they just went, "Hey, can we do it but better?" And they were like, "We'd rather you didn't." Boom! Dragon Ball Z fighter. <laughs> Says Arxis can make a competent fighting engine. Yeah. God, so, I, I hope they I hope Arxis does what they said they were gonna do. For what? They made a thing of like, hey, what's the next anime game you wanna see? And number one was JoJo. Ooh. And number two Ooh. was Bleach. I would buy a Yo. Bleach fighting game from Arxis, dude. Yeah, I'd like, name Kampachi, my boy. Yup. God damn right. I'm a Ryuji guy. Yeah. Is that his name? You mean Renji? Oh, Renji? I got you back. You were close. I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you. Who are you maining? Uh uh oh oh who I I'd either main well if it's two person fighter right I'd main Chad because I I want to make sure that he wins a fight, um because he he won maybe one in the entire series okay and it's sad uh and then uh Kenpachi, Kenpachi yeah. Ken, Kenpachi's a Rocky Kenpachi dude. would be my anchor uh, dude. okay yeah with the guy with the fucked up sword oh my god like yeah his story was so cool yeah when that when that story was cool yep. Uh. Uh, but if it's a three-person fighter, then I gotta have uh, 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 oh, what's his name? It's not Ueda. Oh God, the bow dude. 
Oh, no. the Quincy? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember his name. No one remembers his name. Fuck. <laughs> that upsets me greatly. No one remembers his name. <laughs> yeah. Kenpachi would be my anchor, and my other two characters, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, it's been so long since I've read Bleach. I don't remember shit. Uh, not I Ichigo? Mean, You're not, are, you, are you an Ichigo fan? I don't know. No one's care Ichigo. about Ichigo. How many, how many different forms will Ichigo have? Eight. He'd be Goku. <laughs> yeah, he, he would be the Goku. I wonder what him just in his school clothes be, oh, be a form just fighting with his fist. Damn it. It's Uryu. Uryu, Uryu yeah. is the name uh, of the fucking does, does he get cool later? He gets super cool later. Yeah. When did you stop? Um, Right after Rescue Sakria? What's her name? <laughs> Ukiya? Uh, no, Rukia. You're close. I'll give yeah. it to you. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I right. stopped when Ichigo got his powers back. I take, I'm take. i sorry. I'll take that back, James. I stopped during the, what, the vampire arc. Yeah, the, I, the I, arc that doesn't matter because yeah, it's I not did, canon. I, did, I was so young, I didn't realize it was filler. Yep. I was like, this sucks. I'm going to stop. Do you remember the name of the vampires? Oh, it starts with a B, right? Yep. Oh my God, you gotta tell me. It's the bount. Bount. They're the bount art. The bount art, <laughs> dude. This is so tough. Cause they, they're like, yeah, Ichigo doesn't have his powers because he's like tired or something. Yeah. It was so bad excuse. <laughs> so they're like running around and, and, and then the first, like the first six fights or something are all puzzle fights just yeah. to show how stupid Ichigo yeah. is. <laughs> it's like you're stuck in a museum. Uh, okay. <laughs> No, I, I finished the whole fucking series. I'm sorry. So Uryu does get super cool, but I feel like he never gets as cool. I will always respect his fight with the doctor dude where he pulls off the limiter and he just starts absorbing the area for power because that shit's cool. And like I always had the idea of like a fucking like dumb like a like a black hole bow where when you pull it it absorbs like the air in the middle of the string to fucking like mm. That'd be sick. I would play a... Uh... That girl with the big titties. Orihime? Orihime, yeah. Or Rangiku. Which one? Oh, the ice dude's kind of The cool. samurai? No, the or girl, the, the girl one with the, little, with the little people. Yeah, okay. That's uh, that's Orihime. Because I always thought her fighting could be super interesting. They just never did it right. Yeah, because they, they looked at her and they were like, you're worthless. And she went, I know. Yeah, but <laughs> Ark could like, make her fight good. Oh, yeah. I, I, I heard, I, her her keep away game would be great. Yeah, her fighting is super interesting if they would have ever made it good. Does she ever do anything? No. Cool. No, okay. She gets kidnapped in the... Uh, do her people help her when she's kidnapped? Yeah. Yeah. But but the entire arc in... Uh, I almost said Waco Mundo, which is incorrect, because I think that's the big wave in rocket power. Um, <laughs> 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 fucking Shuby. Yeah, I, do, I know. I'm a Shuby. I'm a Shuby, too. I'm not a Shuby. I would never wear fucking socks with sandals. You're a fucking monster. No, I would <laughs> literally wear shoes. Yeah, oh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um... God, I can remember the name of the big dudes, the Menos Grande. I can even remember like uh, like the some of the Grimjaw and Ukiora and shit, but I can't remember what that place is called. Are those the people with the bones for? for the yeah, place? the Aran Car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you guys remember so much? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know my brain works in dumb shit ways. Uh, no, but in there she gets kidnapped, and then she like makes Ukiura, like, fall in love kind of with her, but then Ichigo still kicks the shit out of him. Kicks the little fuck I, out of him. I will say this. The, the bad guy of the arc, the dude who, um... I, uh, Aizen? Yeah. The, the, it was very good the way they made him seem so nice and harmless, and he was the terrible person. Yeah. He lost, like, a bitch, though. Yeah. I didn't see that the was fucking when he lost. garbage. He, dude, straight up, they use him at the end, and they just have him strapped to a chair with a bunch of fucking, like, gauze. Well, the way that I remember <laughs> is, like... He's like, oh, I'm going to ultimately transform. And then Ichigo seals him. And he's like, now you're fucked. And I win. But I lost my powers. Well, the, and that's Ichi- when I stopped. All Ichigo yeah. fights are terrible. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not surprised. I remember when he was fighting a blue dude. And like he was literally like, I'm not going to get hit anymore. Yeah, and then he didn't. Yeah. It's like, is, is that easy, Ichigo? Yeah. Okay. You just just learn flash step. Just learn flash step. <laughs> Pick a top tier. Just learn flash step. <laughs> Anytime, and I, I will say this for Dragon Ball Z as well, anytime a character literally goes into a room that gives them the training of years in the span of a day, you are a bad writer. Dude, I, that, that was what turned me off when he when he learned his bunkai. Yeah. It was like two days. Yep. And then they were like, this takes like years. 10 years and most people don't even get one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Ball Z, fuck you. Mar, fuck you. Mar does it five times. 
Does it? Yeah. God damn. They, they, I'm not even kidding. It's literally like, boom, do it. Hop out, fight in the tournament. Boom, go back in. And like it's like four fights in a row that Jesus. they're just like hopping back and forth. It's and it's new like, tech. You know who does it, Will? <laughs> Nobody. Hunter, Hunter, baby. Hunter, Hunter never those, did it. Those, no, I'm saying the power-ups. <laughs> The like the training the training is done well yeah it's believable because I'll I'll give that it is a little bit close though with biscuits fucking power yeah because like man I would love to be able to work out literally for eight hours break but, all of my boat like all of my muscles and then having a massage that just heals them back to but perfect. it makes it yeah. makes sense also because she sacrificed not having a cool power yeah. What? Before that. She didn't need it. Yeah, because she's just, so she's just buff as fuck. So yeah. like, my, my cool power is to make me buffer. And my favorite part about that is that she even teaches them because she knows the basics so well that she doesn't need a real power. Mm-hmm. And that's what she put gave to them by yeah. making them do all the training because she just taught them basics. Yeah. But if all of your fundamentals are amazing, you're going to yeah. kick the shit out of a specialist. Like... God, oh, I, I man. can't wait to watch it. Let's hurry up so I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing is I need to make this. Uh, I should have talked about this earlier. Darius, mm. you want to talk about unfuckability? Yeah. How how much do you love your Barbie dolls in Yakuza? How much do you love <sighs> painting and dressing up your Barbies? Why you, you got to do this? The fuck are you talking Why you got to do this, bro? So, Why you got to do this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> People don't know. Don't need you to dragging know this. his name through the mud right now? Through the mud, dude. <laughs> Six feet under is where yeah. his name is. I just put two in the fucking back of his name's skull. <laughs> People don't know. Don't Said, need look to at know the lake. Yeah. Pet the cat <laughs> or a rabbit. Pet, yeah, pet the rabbit. <laughs> pop, pop. You, you want to go? You want to tell the story? Of course. Okay. So in Yakuza, as Majima, in Yakuza Zero, you have to make money by uh, running a hostess club. Yeah. It's, it's not a hostess club. It's a cabaret club. It's the same fucking thing. Um. But you can get platinum hostesses. You start with one, and every time you beat the next person, you get theirs. Okay. Platinum hostesses, you can change their makeup, you can change their clothes, their hair, okay. and it actually gives them stats. And no, this is Animal Crossing, but in real life. Yeah, but better. <laughs> and like the most cheesy music, I'll show you All at some music. point. Oh my god, it's in English. <laughs> That's how like beautiful oh, really? it's, nice. dude. It's great. So Darius is it was English like or English, English okay. proper. Okay, like it's fucking great. Uh, so I'll show you today. I have to. So Darius started off with being like, oh, I don't want to do this shit. You guys do this. But like, we just started playing basically. Yeah. Majima runs around with a baseball bat and an eye patch. I just want to beat up people with my baseball bat. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. terrible. He kills people. Yeah. 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 And, and so we go in there and he's like, I want to make money. I want abilities. Cause Darius likes to grind, which who doesn't like, yeah. I want to be as, I want to look at the final boss, give him a little tap on the cheek and have him cry and walk away because he knows he can't beat me yeah. and darius is the same way yeah. um, <laughs> so we go in and we're doing it and like darius is like kind of watching and paying attention and then he starts getting into it and he's like let me have a try and he tries it and then i show him the outfits and we get a girl an outfit and pick it out and he's like i don't care about this trisha you do it yeah, yeah i literally it. i said i feel weird <laughs> doing this i handed the control to trisha yeah <laughs> and then and then after a bit he was like hey go back can you can you change her hair to something else? Okay, thanks. And then it was waiting, and then it was like, wait, go look at the makeup. And then he kind of like he had it. He, he got hit. Yeah, no, he got hit, and he was like, why do I care? Why do I care? I started doing this, and I said I don't care about this, but now I care about these girls. <laughs> and like, try to give him proper lives, Hook bro. I, I saw him Wednesday, and I walked up to him. I was like, hey, Darius, how's it going? Good morning. And he's like, oh yeah, good morning, James. This is- I can't stop thinking about those girls. Damn. <laughs> All week, dude. All fucking week. <laughs> and he's like, what happened? And I'm like, uh, I don't know, man, but the, you like them? Because they're real people. They're modeled after real oh, Japanese really? models. It is. Are they like just people or are these like in the industry people? Uh, I think they're just people, but they're famous. Okay. Yeah. Um, You get to like do the hostess shit too, where you pair them up. Yeah, oh, and like, really? pe- people like different things, and you have to gain them with the one they like, okay. and their mood matters, and that matters how much they like. like I felt pay. like a manager, Noah. I felt <laughs> like I was, I was managing a club. I was like, okay, you get you get the good girl, or like, oh, you get the ugly, you get the yeah. ugly girl. Oh, are you Damn. poor? Fuck you. You yeah. get you get the, my B team. Damn. And it's great because there's an animation that plays because they'll be like, hey, help me, and then they'll give you hand signs that you have to remember. Oh, really? So like like if they do like uh, the thumb and pinky out upside down, it means ref fill the ice if they make a square with their hands and swap the ashtray if they like open a menu they want the menu like it's it's nice. in depth 
Uh, the cutscene is so perfect, Jess. When you do it <laughs> to a platinum hostess, you get a cutscene where you walk up and like it's like the beautiful animated cutscene. Yeah. And he walks up and he's like, oh, excuse me. And he puts it down and like the girl kind of like smiles and waves him away. And he starts to walk away, but then he turns around and gives him a thumbs the up thumb behind up, like... the back. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so satisfying. <laughs> and he's just like, job well fucking done. <laughs> like, you're like, yes. No, I, I, I go out to the street. I pick up girls who, who look like they, you know, will work in a hostess club. Okay. It's a horse. And, uh, you know, I buy... Whoa, whoa, this sounds whoa. kind of like human trafficking. No, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. It's not. I'll pick, I'll pick up a pretty girl in the street. I'll buy, her, I'll buy her freedom with a French wallet. Yep. They'll be like, yeah, maybe I'll work for you if you give me something good. And Darius goes, here's something good. Yeah, I'll buy her a French wallet or a scarf got or something. Drugs. And I'll, <laughs> I'll, bring them, I'll bring them into my hostess club and they work for me. And you know, I, I like someone like, I like I like the old girl. Yep, Obachan, like Obatarian. Yeah, yeah. You you get ladies from side quests too. Oh no. Nice. Yeah, so like if you help them out, they're like, hey, we want to help you out, and you're like, okay. It, and one of them is an eighty year old woman. <laughs> really? Yeah, but her talk skill is max. Oh shit. So like, and and that like she's kind of funny, so she's actually like as good as the platinum hostesses. Oh, it's shit. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, there's one there's one girl who's a bitch. In her side story, she's literally just using the guy. Yeah, she calls him Aaron Coon because he runs errands for yeah. her. And she's so fucking Jesus. ugly. I call her the ugly bitch, and she yeah. she gets all the poor clients. And I, oh, it feels so good when I switch her out. <laughs> yeah, because you can switch them out. You can be like, okay, she's talk she she's talking to somebody, and my good girl she is buttered them up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if my good girl gets free, get the fuck out. Was Oga Chan or what the fuck? Uh, o- o- Obatarian. <laughs> Obatarian, get yeah. the fuck out of here, you ugly bitch. And it's yeah, great because <laughs> uh, Majima's like, yeah, fine, I'll let you work here, but I'm gonna change your name. And she's like, what? And he's like, your name is Aranda. Fuck you. And it's like, damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I was, yeah. I'm. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna tell him what the plan was, by the way, Darius? Because we've been trying to play Yakuza Zero for the last six months. Okay. What time did you come to my apartment, Darius? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty came to my apartment at 12 30 how many hours did we spend playing the hostess club mini game and not doing the story darius we only did i want to say maybe one hour two hours story yeah how much hostess club did we do i left like nine <laughs> damn it was just that <laughs> all day and he just he loved it it sounds satisfying <laughs> it's super satisfying. i honestly want to go check on my girls after we get on we're going to <laughs> Uh, I did change the outfit of one of them, but I the the new one I got. Yeah. But I saved her old outfit so I can swap to what she looked like. No, it's so well you well you do the outfits. Mm. <laughs> they have these categories. It's like sexy, funny, cute, beautiful, uh, beautiful, and like you, the 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 alf, the outfits change the categories of like their level in it. Yeah, their stats. So you know you got some girls who are just funny and just cute, and other girls who are just sexy, and you can make them really sexy, and it's, it matters. And All I right. care. <laughs> <laughs> I so I have the collector's edition of Yakuza Zero. It gave me a business card case, mm-hmm. and it gave me Kiryu's business card, Majima's business business card, and then a card with most of the platinum hostesses. <laughs> and oh, I nice. gave Darius that card. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my little basket at home. Nice, yep. uh, as nice. it should be. <sighs> so that's that's Yakuza for us. Yeah, <laughs> like I. I I don't know if it, if the the like mini game of that is just so good or just I'm weird and I like it. No, it's good. The Yakuza games have crazy mini games. I was but, telling him that in Yakuza Five, Kiryu owns a taxi and you play taxi mini games. Oh, nice! But he gets heat moves while being in the taxi, so he'll like <laughs> heat move and go on two wheels or like zoom around a semi and shit. It's so that, good. That's pretty great. Yeah, it's just uh, a part of me prefers to play that fucking shit than beat people up with a bat i don't know why do you want to know why because they made a good game yeah like because you can play pool you can play shogi you can play like uh 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 uh, you can play mahjong you can go play poker you can play darts and they all matter like like they'll give you things if you beat that quest line you can go fish and it's (laughs) all fun it's actually a decent fishing mini game when's the last time you played a decent fishing mini game the last in a fucking fishing mini game? game i played was deadly premonition that was trash yeah that was the worst mm. I'd, I'd rather die than play that mini and game they again. make you play it. that's part of the story do you know that mini game nope. noah a <clears throat> wheel shows nope. up at the bottom with different icons and you have to stop it on the icon but it's like a wheel wheel so if you hit a it'll go forward the next like four or five icons mm. that's and fishy. it's like you have to do it for the main story jesus yeah there's one where you have to go and fish and you fish up a case of like evidence and it's just like <laughs> really uh, 
This is also the dude who somebody uh, uh, was like, hey, if you remade Deadly Premonition, what would you add? Would you change the combat? Would you change how this works? And he's like, I think I'd add the ability to ride a bike. Like a pedal bike. And it's but like, it's out in the country, too, yeah. which makes no sense. So, like, everything's far out apart. Yeah. Okay. Like, you have to drive for 10 to 20 minutes to get to the next story mission. Why would you have a fucking pedal bike? Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> so that's... uh. Shit, that's all I had to talk about. I just needed to make sure that I blew your ass out with the with Yakuza because it's it's <laughs> too good and you shouldn't be ashamed. I mean, you're right. I I just feel like I should want to beat up people with bat more, but, but you know, I don't. But you want it, your girls. You Got to protect <laughs> them, Darius. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. Do you have anything so. to? I don't talk so. about anything special happened these last two weeks, Noah. Not really. Damn. Why? You don't want to talk about your fancy dancy new art station? Oh, what do you mean? I mean, I don't think we talked tablet. about it. Yeah, Noah's got a Cintiq. So with all the dude, have you seen my setup? It looks no. <laughs> you you bought Matt's so right? I have five fucking monitors, <laughs> mainly because I have my work computer at my desk. Five? Yeah. He did buy Matt's Cintiq though. So, is is your porn watching that extreme? Dude, it's pretty fucking nice. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. He's got it on four monitors, and then he draws <laughs> it on the fifth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I have, like, my work computer on the right, and there's two monitors, and then my computer has two monitors plus, like, the, the Cintiq. Cintiq. Yeah. Now, does it get hot, too hot? Because apparently that was the main reason Matt didn't like it. Um, The top of it can get hot if you use it for too long. I had issues with it Wednesday, and, like, the cursor was just doing weird shit for no yeah. reason, but it's fixed now, and the day before it was perfect. I wonder if it needs a driver update, too, because it probably has The drivers been. were fine. Oh. I restarted my computer multiple times, and, like, it was just kept happening. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. The next day, it was fine, too. Was so, uh, so, yeah, shit. if you guys liked the Mega Man Legends artwork, that is that was the first thing he drew for the podcast um yeah I think is so. that one yeah and then the next one should be coming along sometime soon we're gonna record more of that uh in about 10 minutes yeah it's my sit up <laughs> yeah. you can have porn all around you bro. yeah dude <laughs> like omni porn star. bro you could be like he has a vr headset he should put porn on true. all <laughs> monitors and then also watch yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> you can have all types of porn anal hentai interracial yeah. uh <laughs> Uh, I just end up like Randy in fucking South Park. Yeah. In fucking <laughs> tent. Just covered up. <laughs> uh. Oh, Trisha was getting on my ass yesterday. Speaking of uh, headsets, uh, mm. she really wants to watch a couple of our videos where we play some fucking VR, VR games. horror games. So we're going to have to do it at some point. You mean Noah? No, Noah and me and you. Yeah. I can't do VR horror. You, you do it. Here's the thing. I'm a pussy. You, you got to do, do at least one. No, I don't want to do VR horror. You don't want to, but we need to. For the band? For the band, Darius? For the band? I have the serious Sam shooting game, and I think the second level, you're in like a dark forest, and you can't see anything except for your light that you aim with. <laughs> and there's these like crab monsters that like fucking run at you through the forest. Did you just it's piss yourself? Tense, dude. <laughs> it's pretty tense. It's all right, Darius. We'll get you for one, and then we'll... Because we'll, we'll, we'll ease you in, right? Have you we'll done let VR? You once not to once not interrupt you i guess yeah no once yeah um, we'll we'll ease him in we'll have him play some super hot yeah that's because really that game's uh, i would play robo for recall hours. for sure yep robo recall that's my favorite game and then uh and then we'll, we'll ease him into dread holes <laughs> yeah finish it up with dread holes all right cool that'll be a Call good episode, three like, one-offs pack or something yeah yeah have him do the climbing one too, because I hate heights oh, and that yeah. climbing one fucked me up to the top yeah that game's super fun too it's like a parkour game where you can just like grab walls and like launch yourself and shit. You feel like Spider Man. Yeah, cool. It's super fun. But at the same time, it is super high up, and you can look down and not see the like. You see the ground; it's so far do down. We don't, I don't get to have do a horror game. You do. I don't. Do I have a gun in a horror game? No, no. You have it. I don't want to. The only reason I play like horror games is because like <laughs> so I can, can fight back. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> something where I can't fight back. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, man. You'll be fine. Mm. Are you ready for any questions? Of course I am, always. Yeah. Your okay. any questions are what I look forward to. I got a great any question. That's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you better. I'm gonna, we described your shirt pretty well, right, James? I think so. We're going to put a picture in the Discord. All right. Uh, 
you have to wear James's shirt to either a funeral, church, or a <laughs> wedding. Which one do you pick? Both. You gotta pick I'd one. gladly wear it to either one. This isn't even a question. <laughs> Darius. Somebody else's Darius? wedding or his own wedding? Somebody else's wedding. Okay. Darius, when you get married, I'll pop this bitch on you, just you, for you. you better not, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you better better not make me your best man. <laughs> <laughs> Show up with that piece of shit. <laughs> Better show up with Armani. Yeah, dude. <laughs> if we get fit, if we do the full road to Sun Ken, yeah. we will show no, up no, in Armani no. suits. It, it, funeral or wedding, but you show up literally like doing the ceremony. So like, oh, I show up late too. They're they're, they're, they're like we're vowels. the people that object to the wedding just to sit down. <laughs> yeah, to have it go on. They're, they're like saying the vows, and you have to you open the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm or, or or just or like the person at the funeral is like giving their yeah. speech ashes about, to ashes dust to dust and then i walk in <laughs> you, kick open the door <laughs> all right no which one uh i'll just pick funeral yeah so we can talk about that no uh, <laughs> if, if, if i die before you you have to wear this to my funeral okay because <laughs> i'm keeping this shirt it's for the rest air. of my life yeah so. why wouldn't you yeah Put it in your will, and I'll do it. You got it. <laughs> and then Darius has to fucking put me underneath the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. No. Yeah, you're a coward. It's I know. Too much work, do you want to get cremated or buried? I don't give a shit. You could throw me in a fucking lake. Like, let the fish eat yeah. me, you know? I like, feel... legitimately, I if you just change the subject pump right me now. out to the ocean, like, I, I do. Yeah. I, I'll have to do funeral. Yeah. Because you got to talk to people at like during a wedding. Yeah, but if you wear this shirt, you're going to have to talk to people at that <laughs> funeral. Yeah. But here's the thing. After the funeral, you have to go to the wake or the reception or whatever the fuck it's called. Like the thing afterwards where yeah. everybody gets together. Yeah, we're doing that too. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you I, just dip out. I have pictures. But not here of my brother wearing this. Yeah. Two events. <laughs> Hell Yeah. <laughs> I Let's shit go. you not, dude. <laughs> well, when we when He's we go, hero, dude. I'll try, I'll try July Fourth, I'll show you those pictures. Can, can you save it with a tie? No, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah, <laughs> nice. It didn't work, dude. <laughs> what color tie do you pick? Red? That's the only thing that would work. Red's too much. But I think no. you go blue because there's Red's blue on it already. <laughs> Yeah, and then I guess It'll technically blend a bit better. it would also visually point down to the re- the blue. Yeah. So then maybe they would ignore the rest of the shirt. <laughs> you can ignore that. <laughs> you can try, damn dude. it. It is a very loud shirt. It's dude, it is oppressively <laughs> it's loud. It's literally full bottle full body sale Goku fighting on that shirt. <laughs> you guys better be ready for this. With self first form with yeah. his hands raised like Nosferatu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't you, wait to take these picks. Both. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'd wear this wherever. Just to prove the point that I told you that I would wear this outside. Oh, God. All right. That's our show. Thank yeah. You. Actually, re- real quick, before he says that, I, I think Noah had a good question that I want to know the answer to. What would you... Do you want to yeah. get cremated? Or do you want to be buried? What have you thought about the after, after you die? Uh, I, don't, I don't care. Because... I don't know. Embalming's super fucked up. What's embalming? Uh, it's where it's they... where they prepare your body. And, like... The industry itself is like super bad. My friend and it's was all like a bunch of lies and my friend almost garbage. went into that industry after college. Yeah. Yeah. You say lies and garbage? Yeah. What's it like, lie about? Um what they do to your body after you die, they just like clean you out. They like stuff you full of like cotton. They put embalming fluid in you, which they say helps you and preser- like it preserves you, but it doesn't make you safer. Like And it, it hurts the environment because yep. most of those chemicals shouldn't be in the fucking ground. It, yeah, it just fucks with your body and like it decays and it's just not good. Um, I'm, I never really. It's basically human taxidermy. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't have to have that happen to your body, but like they heavily like push it onto you, and it's just a whole industry. It's just to get money. Yeah, you. I was like creamy. I, I don't care. I'm like James. You can throw me in a river. If yeah. I'm dead, I'm dead. Honestly, if if anything, just whatever. Do the thing where they put my body in a fucking tree. Yeah, where they that use your cool. body to like as nutrients for a tree really yeah it's a thing they do you can you can like i don't know if you they like cremated yeah. yeah and then they put your ashes in yeah. like a, a planting thing so your family can actually like instead of having a funeral they can like kind of have a better situation where they plant you into the ground so that like it's like a like like the cycle continues well, you said so a tree. i thought you were like going towards like the 
the berserk sword in the tree like you want it. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that's gonna happen regardless. <laughs> the dragon slayer, right? Goddamn right. Yeah. yeah, we'll get you a dragon slayer and have the tree form around the dragon slayer. Absolutely. Yeah. And remember that uh, on on either the sword or carved into the tree once it's grown, we need the no more heroes line to make it even better, mm. which is uh, uh, trust your force and head to the garden of madness. Uh, I thought it was gonna be Moe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Moe. Moe. <laughs> Nah, dude, it, it, I, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If a kid stumbled into that forest, saw that, and read that inscription, that would change that kid's life, mm. <laughs> right? Like, like that's a fucking religious experience of just, who was buried here? What happened? <laughs> Especially if the dragon slayer is up a couple feet from yeah. the tree because it grew. Like, I, I feel like it's like standing straight up, and the tree's just like around it. Yeah. So yeah, that was a that was a good podcast. Oh, I haven't answered. Oh fuck, I, I am so, cremation. So sorry, no. I think I've been leaning towards the yeah, I probably like would the too. tree thing sounds super cool. I know like a lot of places do like art stuff. Like you can have ashes and like beads and shit like that. The, Glass work. Yeah, the only the only thing with ashes that are kind of weird is uh, this. This should only happen if you accidentally spill um the relative that's dead, like I did. Um. <laughs> They they put the teeth and the nails in the container with your really? ashes. Yep. That's fucked. Teeth it's, and nails don't burn. No. They're too hard and they're too like carbon y. They 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 last the whole time. Um But yeah, uh I knocked that one over like three times, uh or twice, and uh both times it was just oh, that's brother teeth. <laughs> Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Why, why would you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> Which part? That there's a there's urn right over there, there, or that there? Are <laughs> can you ask to not get the teeth and nails? I I think you could probably ask, <laughs> but uh, yeah, put that on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like a barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's like it's like a uh, uh, Grubhub order special <laughs> yeah. special instructions yeah. teeth on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Remove teeth. <laughs> but yeah, so that's fun. I think the bones actually don't burn either, generally. Oh, really? Yeah, but they take those. Those can't be put in the container. Right. So they take all the bones out, and then they just <laughs> wholesale the, dump the rest of the mortar. shit in there. <laughs> God. Uh, I, think, I think the... I don't think it's Buddhist. I think it's, it's something in Japan. Um, but they have a thing where they, they cremate Mummify. you. No, where they cremate you, and then the family, it's like a its like a thing to, like, get over the death, oh. is you actually, like, pick out the bones like the family does and put those burns in its, uh, or the, the bones in its own special urn. Oh. And, like, the person at the front, which is usually either a parent or, like, the loved, like, the, the yeah, lover, so, yeah. yeah, they pick it up, and then they pass the bone down the list, and then, the, like, the people around it, and then the last person puts it in the box. So that it's kind of like a like a cycle of like, this is the end. Yeah, you know, so everyone kind of can have peace with it. It's a super cool ceremony. Is it fucked but... up? I'm thinking about if I was in a mafia, I can get a like cremator, and if I had you know to kill somebody, I had to get rid of the body. You can burn the body and then just take the teeth and just like put them in powder like, it. cloth and like bash it with a hammer. And then you won't get caught. Well, the only thing about that is the only bad thing about that is that cremation takes like eight to ten hours. It's like a super long process. So if you're if I you're mean, if, you, if you, you need to get rid of a body quick, that's not the best <laughs> option. I mean, that's the quick way. But, I mean, you know. eight hours is relatively quick. Yeah, but not if you're trying to get rid of a body. Well, you need twenty four hours before they uh, yeah forty eight missing or something. Yeah. Forty eight. Forty eight. Yeah. yeah, you got plenty of time. Oh yeah. 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 Rip. I mean, if you're stealthy with it, they don't know who you are. Yeah. And if you do it immediately, eight I, hours is nothing. It would be kind of conspicuous. <laughs> like, hey, why do you own a cremation thingy? Well, you just make sure that it's in your uh, cousin's name. Yeah. You're done. Like, oh, yeah, we barbecue with it. Yeah. <laughs> we barbecue with the cremator. <laughs> That's our show, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. Is it broil? Flame broil? Flame broil? Yeah. yeah. Flame, have you ever had a flame broiled steak? Yeah, it's a Burger <laughs> Burger King style human. We, uh, flame yeah. broiled man. <laughs> Thank you for taking time out of your day listening mm-hmm. to this. Yeah, this has been a doozy of a podcast. If you made it this long, thank you. Hop on Discord to see this terrible photo of my amazing shirt. Hell yeah. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Trump. Fuck Black Trump. Black Lives Matter. All that. Yeah. yeah. Black Lives Matter, please be kind to your fellow brother. Yeah. Everybody deserves happiness. Yeah. Don't take the happiness from someone else. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> Uh, goodbye. <laughs>